still, Knox Goes Away might be better than our next film that comes f- directed by an actor, Chris Pine's debut, Pool Man. I uh, sat next to you at the press the press and industry screening of this one, and I Last kept a one. little tally in my notebook of every walkout. Ended up with 55, which is... You got, you got you that know, on you? I actually don't know where I put my notebook. You got to show um, the text. You, you oh, got to show the monumental. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll pull up... Oh, here it is. I'll pull up the tweet. Maybe that'll be easier. Yeah. But, uh, we were yeah. sitting there, and we just, you know, at a certain point, would hit moments in the movie where Chris Pine would do something, and a mass exodus would occur. <laughs> and at a certain point, Zach's like, all right, I, I got to start keeping track of this. Mm-hmm. I mean, it it's ridiculous it it was just more and more people were like piling out of this movie just uh they had enough of his antics because i the film is this got this really weird energy here i found my uh my page i don't know how visible that is at the bottom there hold on i got uh, you give it a second three two there you go yeah that that guy right there all those like i had to start a second line of tallies. That's ridiculous. Uh, just to get them all in. 55 people. It was probably like at least a seventh of the auditorium, if not a little bit more than that. Uh, yeah, it was... It was... Bro, there was one time a whole group of like five got up to leave. And when they were leaving, the guy who was like moving, was like letting him go through said, screw it, I'll go with you. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I've never seen heckling at a press and industry screening. Let's talk about they, that. Which like well, let's let's talk about well no let's talk about that so we can then talk about the movie. This right. is not the midnight comedy hour, guys. Just because the movie starts tanking like crazy doesn't mean that we're about to do one night at the Apollo here. All right, yeah. we'll save I that mean, for your stand up. <laughs> look, the only kind of person who would like not have the social uh, knowledge to or, or social like temerity to uh, scream out in the middle of a movie is the kind of person who's going to have terrible jokes. So maybe just don't heckle a movie unless it's like. In a riff track screening or something like that. Yeah, I, I don't definitely know. Definitely not a PNI. That's yeah, midnight status. Yeah, some of here, some of us are actually there to work and pay attention. Uh, even if the movie is really, really bad, and this one is really bad, I felt like his performance was like basically Mr. Peanut Butter from Bojack Horseman, but like caught in the middle of a detective noir. It, and it just sort of makes no sense. They want it to be this like inherent vice long goodbye kind of stoner comedy detective thing. Yeah, Beach Bum may be more uh, uh, modern comparison, but it just never really makes sense. The whole mystery behind it, it, it like he, it constantly feels like the mystery is passing him by because he'll like come to a conclusion then somebody has to be like, no, you idiot, this is what actually happened, which is not a cinematic way to find out about the story. Yeah, um, and he's not goofy enough for it to be that funny no. every time that it's happening to him. Yeah. It's like, it's a frequency off of what it should be. This is a person singing in front of a lot of people and no one's telling him he's so confident, but he's a pitch off. Yeah. And he's doing these jokes and no one's laughing at what should be a theater full of laughter to fill in his little like tantrum that he's throwing. Mm-hmm. It is, it's just off, but it's almost amusing to see somebody continue to try to hit the punchline and That's no thing. one's getting it. The thing that ultimately is the most entertaining element of Pool Man is how committed everybody is to this goofy movie. I mean, yeah. the actors are trying. There is just kind of like, as you mentioned, it's off speed. It's not hitting the right pitch. It's just kind of not working. Um, I'm not like... I'm not against the idea of like five revisions to the screenplay saving this thing, but uh-huh. whatever they shot was just a complete like misfire, just yeah. a miscalculation. Two of the best people in this would be uh, Danny DeVito and um, what's her name? Uh, uh, Annette Benning. They have some really good back and forth between each other. Mm-hmm. Benning's got some really good delivery. All of that is coming from them. You can tell that the script just left them out there to die because there is a moment where you're following Danny DeVito, who's the cameraman for the doc that he's helping to film for his son. And there's a moment where they do a bit with him and it's just like no one told him what to do there. (laughs) He is clearly ad-libbing with the camera prop that they gave him. It's, It's pretty bad, bro. They thought that they could make a movie out vibes. No, sir. Yeah, really. I think the main reason you and I saw this as we're being asked about distribution is that we just wanted to make sure we saw this disaster before it gets cut. Exactly. Like, I don't think this film has distribution. Like, it probably will get it at some point as a curiosity. It almost didn't get um, distributed over there. The projector broke. 
Uh, yeah, I mean, we'll, we'll see. But like, as you mentioned, whatever version ultimately comes out, I would not be surprised to see it uh, drastically recut because this it one is to. a bit of a disaster. Just go watch Chinatown. People said that this was ripping off Chinatown. No, the movie literally shows you yeah. him copying Chinatown. They play Chinatown. Bro, no. <laughs> no. You no. Know, it's it's way worse than you think it is. It's like one of those times where you think somebody's going to get to the joke first, so you want to say it, but then you're just calling yourself out. Yeah. It, yeah. No, it's, it's crazy. Yeah. yeah. Pool man. All one right, of my so favorite we'll go... experiences of the film. <laughs> yeah, I mean, look, there, there was nothing better to do at that time slot, right? Oh, there was a lot of better things to do, but we, we were on a mission. <laughs> yeah.